Hey everyone, this is Rushlock, and we're doing a quick look at an Eve tool called Eve Trade. I use this for logging into my market alts and checking for deals, items we can buy in and flip for profit. Uh, let me see if I can get it on the screen for you here. Very good. So there's different t couple of types of, of trading you can do, going region to region, station to station, or single station. Single station is the laziest. You don't need to undock. You can just do it from your current market location. So with single station, it gives you a couple of options. It tells you the main market hubs to trade in. We're going to select Jeter for this character. Uh, you need to look into your skills and look at your current level of accounting. Uh, your tr your um, accounting skill will impact the margins. For the broker's fee and percentage, you need to have an item you want to sell. Right-click on it, sell this item. You can find broker fee right there. Uh, there might be an easier way of finding that number. If there is and you know about it, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to let people know about that one. But knowing that percentage also impacts your margins, we can put that here. Uh, these two you can leave default until you know more, and uh, volume above a thousand is velocity. Uh, it's uh, how often these items buy and sell, so you can make sure that you're in a market that's active and not trading in items that uh, you're going to get stuck with and sit on for a long time. So go ahead and hit the search button, it'll calculate. Alright, so here we have the results. Uh, you can sort by a couple of different factors here. Um, I usually sort by return on investment to get a higher percentage of items. You can see that Scorch S is trading at pretty decent velocity. Anything in four digits or five digits is ideal. Uh, things in three digits, it's not that they can't uh, move, uh, but you want to look at the 24-hour volume, two-week volume, and 30-day volume. If there's a sudden spike here that outpaces the 14 or the 30 days, it just means that there's some you know possible market manipulation going on, maybe uh, a large influx or buy-up of the item itself as well. Uh, here you can see in the last two week to 30 days, uh, Cat Booster 200s have moved a lot, a lot more slowly in the last 24 hours. Uh, there could be a reason for that, but they're still moving at a great velocity. In fact, let's use that as our example here. 38% uh, return on investments. They're going to cost, it looks like, you can buy them in for 28.52, sell them for 41.44. Let's see if we can go to the market here and take a look at this one. So Cap. Booster 200, go here. And what we want to do is we want to verify these numbers. So it said that the buy price right now is 28.52, which we can confirm, and that they're selling at 41.44, which we can also uh, confirm. You can see a bit uh, price differences here and all these, all these uh, volumes here. So if we want to, we're going to place a buy order, and we're going to buy it in at 28.53. And if you want to like just dabble in the experiment with the items, buy a couple of them. Don't buy a whole lot. Buy those in. And as they start coming in, let's say you have the salvagers I've been buying in. There's view market details there. And you can see that I've updated my order to be the best buy order and the best sell order. And you can do that with any of these items for EVE trade. Uh, again, you can sort by uh, return on investments. You can sort by uh, different volume, different buy prices. Like let's say, oh, I'm trying to think of a good example. These are all pretty cheap items though. Sometimes it'll come back with an item that's in the millions but these items are very accessible like to brand new players uh compressed uh crokite here is a good example of how you have to invest a lot more to buy up units um but yeah you always look at these items going back a page remember you can pick what market hub you're gonna trade from that's not what i'll go to eve trade single station and again you can pick which market hub you want to go to g will usually have you know higher volume higher velocity but uh, probably narrower margins. I imagine you'll find better margins at the cost of velocity in other market hubs. But just a simple tool you can you can utilize. Uh, if you do end up using it a lot, consider donating to their website, help them with hosting costs. Uh, you can also buy uh, Game Time and Plex through the referral link here, uh, some of the one we have for the stream. So help them any way you can if this tool is useful for you. If you have questions, put them in the comments down below the video. And until then, enjoy, and we'll see you next time.